Hey YouTube, welcome to episode 7 of the Nuzlocke Challenge. As you can see here, I just left the Pokemon Center from Cerulean City after just defeating Misty. And I am now on my way through this building, which we find a Team Rocket Grunt just right outside of it. This video is mostly just finding Pokemon because I go through four new areas in here and training my Oddish. At the end of the video, I believe I'm going to be either level 25 or 26 with my glue, and I'm going to cut it off. And I still proceeded to train because I just figured that you guys didn't want to see 10 levels worth of training on top of already this 22 minute worth of an episode. So I decided to not record that. But what I did in that case is that I went into the Diglett Cave. As you'll see towards the end, and I just trained in there, which Gloom has a type advantage, obviously. And so, it was really easy training. There were a few close calls, but I never once fainted. And the only real challenges that there were once I got up to, like, level 28 was when I encountered a Doug Trio, which was either 29 or 31. As you can see here, I just made it into Route 5, though. And the first Pokemon I find is a Pidgey, which you can tell that I haven't found a Pidgey yet. Um, then after this, I'm going to actually immediately go to the route that's just up above Vermilion City, I believe it is, the place where Lieutenant Surge is, and then I'm going to take out all the trainers there, and then I'm going to go catch my Pokemon, which the Pokemon I actually catch in that route is now one of a main team member, so, yeah, um, so, like I said, this is just four new Pokemon, which if you just look at the description, I post the Pokemon with asterisks next, next to their name, which is in each episode, so you can tell which Pokemon I find. So, my Route 5 catch is obviously this Pidgey that I nicknamed Potato, and then I'm going to immediately go to the next route. I'm going to train there, and then it'll become training gloom but whenever I go into another route in the Diglett cave I'm obviously going to catch a Diglett and another Pokemon so I hope you enjoy the episode the next time you'll hear my voice is actually in just a second so I think I'm actually just going to talk to you guys as you can see I just got into this route like I said I was going to move directly here and then I'm looking for Pokemon the rule that I don't have to catch a duplicate Pokemon comes into place with these Oddishes. And then I find another Pidgey, same thing. I just caught a Pidgey, so obviously I don't need to catch a new one. And then after healing real quick, or after switching my Golbat into place, I find a Meowth, which is the only actually other Pokemon that I can find on this route, because all there are Pidgeys and Meowths and Oddishes on this route. So, I find the Meowth, and then I'm obviously going to catch it, and then he becomes part of the main team. And so, welcome him, and the next time you'll hear my voice is after a good bit of leveling when I find my next Pokemon. So, I'll see you guys then.
tick, stop, tick, tick, play it. Stop, stop, I, I, stop, tick, tick, I, I, I. Take a look around, this is me, what I see. You're gay, and I'm on no one's that that feels like me. So tell me why my head is spinning on me. Now stop, then I say where I belong.
gloria Now, and I've been finding Spiros and whatnot, and the first Pokemon that I don't already have I find is Ekans, which I believe is also the only Pokemon in this route that is completely new. So, I find the Ekans, I do my typical paralyze it, and then either damage it or supersonic spam it until it gets down into the yellow and then I throw a pokeball and catch it with no problem. So the next time you'll hear my voice is when I find my next Pokemon in the Diglett Cave which should be an instant giveaway. It's either a Diglett or a Dugtrio. So I'll see you guys then.